Welcome to your Catholic Daily News Briefing, a service of Catholic News Agency. Listen on your smart speaker or wherever you get podcasts. A special collection will be taken on Good Friday to support Christians in the Holy Land and Catholic churches throughout the world. In an interview with EWTN, Vatican Cardinal Leonardo Sandri said that the Good Friday collection is a moment for all Catholics to be united in supporting the places where Jesus lived, died, and rose again. This year's Good Friday collection will be taken in parishes worldwide on April 15. It is the main source of material support for Christian life in the region. U.S. Catholics can donate to the collection online, as well as at churches. More than 70 bishops from around the world signed an open letter this week to Germany's bishops, warning that sweeping changes to church teaching advocated by the ongoing process known as the Synodal Path may lead to schism, or a formal break from the Catholic Church. More signatories have added their names to the letter since its release Tuesday morning. The letter comes after the German Synodal Path Assembly voted in favor of draft texts calling for same-sex blessings and changes to the Catechism of the Catholic Church as a part of a re-evaluation of homosexuality in February. More recently, in an interview published on March 31, German Cardinal Reinhard Marx asserted that the Catechism's teaching here is not set in stone and one is also allowed to doubt what it says. Catholics around the world are being invited to congratulate Pope Emeritus Benedict XVI on his 95th birthday, which he will celebrate on April 16. The Tagespost Foundation for Catholic Journalism has created a website to collect messages to show to the Pope Emeritus on his birthday. Go to catholicnewsagency.com to find the website. The Pope Emeritus was born Joseph Alois Ratzinger in 1927 in Mark Lemin, a small Bavarian town not far from Austria also on a Holy Saturday. Today the Church celebrates St. Peter Gonzalez, who experienced a true conversion experience thanks to a public humiliation, which set him on the road to sainthood. After being thrown from his horse into a dung heap and withdrawing into a period of prayer and meditation, he served as the confessor and court chaplain to King St. Ferdinand III of Castile and reformed court life. He also worked for the crusade against the Moors, went into the battlefields, and worked for humane treatment of Moorish prisoners. Fearing that the honors and easy life offered by the king's court would lead him to return to his previous ways, he left the court and evangelized to shepherds and sailors. Today is also Holy Thursday. Check out catholicnewsagency.com to find out how to receive a plenary indulgence this Holy Week. Also, at catholicnewsagency.com, you can find the complete schedule of Holy Week Masses that EWTN will be airing on television and online. There will be no news briefing tomorrow, Good Friday. From all of us at Catholic News Agency, we wish you a blessed rest of Holy Week and a joyful Easter. Thanks for joining us. For more, visit catholicnewsagency.com.